we have come to, I, I would usually say, oh yeah, but we're, he's gonna keep up with Blake Christian, it's gonna be so amazing. But Project Monix with this new attitude since returning to Zello Bro, I think he's gonna try all he can to just ground Christian in this one. I feel like if there's one word that could describe this match in my mind, it's intensity. You're gonna see the intensity from Pat Monix. You're gonna see the intensity in just the speed, the quickness, the high flying of Blake Christian. Christian is taking a nap right now on the turnbuckle saying, come on, let's go. He likes a fast match. He likes to keep the pace going. And so he's just taking a little siesta on that turnbuckle. But we are about to witness some serious intensity between these two competitors. And again, a little cat nap before and just to get his energy all the way up before going into this contest with Project Monix made his return at Violent Valentine's against Jimmy Jacobs. What a contest that was. What a return match. I couldn't even watch that video, to be honest with you, because using your opponent's own weapon against your opponent is sometimes awesome to see, but sometimes it's very heartbreaking to see. And when you use Jimmy Jacobs' spike in the manner in which Monix did. It's the manner. Oh, I can't I can't even repeat how he did it. Oh, it's so brutal. I couldn't watch the video package. Well, I don't want to see the word package. Right, right. Very appropriate for what it, uh, what went down at Violent Valentine's. But right now, Jake, Blake Christian with the little pat. It looked like he was going to go for a knife edge shot. Nup, nope, nup. Nope. He is... Gonna just let it go right back to the beginning of the contest right here with Project Monix. And look at the, the markings all yeah. over the, the upper right quadrant of Blake Christian's body. Wow, he must have taken some serious chops recently. I mean, Blake Christian has been all over the globe wrestling. And in fact, all heart is an understatement for Blake Christian. He is only 24 years old, but he's all? already been in the game for five years. Good to get started young at uh, now he's had those in epic encounters in Game I mean, Changer Wrestling, yeah, Impact he's been a, Wrestling. A, bit, a part of GCW, a strong part of G GCW lately. He was at the epic Hammerstein Ballroom event that recently happened in New York City. Uh, I'm sure he was on the show last night. I wasn't able to watch it myself, but I can see from those marks on his body, oh, he's been facing some brutal opponents lately. Monix want trying to get out of this place. He does with the headlock takeover. Well done, Project Monix, a very accomplished athlete in his own right. And where if you're looking for mind games or staying ahead of your opponent, Project Monix proves he's capable, has proven he's capable of that. And I'm, what I'm doing here, hearkening back to that blood feud he had with Simon Grimm. Oh, yeah. Where he came out on top. So we know that Project Monix, he knows a thing or two about how to be mean. I just never thought he would employ it. I didn't it. think he had it in him, to be honest yeah. with you. The, the young, smiley kid. I remember him as a trainee as well. Just a one count here for Blake Christian. I remember Project Monix coming around to shows to help out with the ring, help out with cleanup, just in a just in, in the off chance that he that the promoter might give him the give him a maybe a, a show or a, like a tryout before yeah, the just a chance, before just the an car, opportunity, just something. And now here he is, proving himself. Oh, he obviously spends lots of time in the gym, constantly training, constantly bettering just himself all the time. Just very bitter. It just too much when you. When you give and you give and you give and you don't get back what you expect to get back, when you put so much in. I'm surprised at the slow pace of this match, to be honest with you. But again, this is a variation of intensity that I spoke to earlier. Just these are two extraordinarily talented individuals in very different ways, Jimmy. I don't understand that Blake Christian wouldn't just go, you know, lightning speed right from the get-go and, and make mistakes. He would run the risk of making mistakes when you try to go too fast. Beautifully done there. On the front hand spring to avoid the drop down. Nicely done by Blake Christian. I mean, just gorgeous. Look at the height he just got there in that triple barrel right there. Oh. A unique oh. way. Gets the drop kick to to finish it all off, and you notice Project Monix uh, seeing stars on the outside. Here we go. You wanted to see Christian fly this Spider-Man-like agility here. Uh, not so much. Oh, no, but you were right about the Spider-Man-like agility. Staying on that apron, that big kick to the head of Pat, Project Monix, excuse me. Top gets the clothesline slash cross body off the springboard. It's only two, counts referee Dan Perch as Project Monix trying to make his way over to the ropes. He does so successfully. 
Blake Christian now just measuring his opponent, looking for a charge in, gets that knife edge chop. Lonix keeps this up. He's going to find himself in the locker room on the short end of the paycheck. There's a knife edge chop, keeping those coming. Matrix-like ability with Blake Christian, the way he just owns the balance on those ropes. Inverted the top of the drop, reverse wheelbarrow into the splash. And it's only two. Project Monix still in this, but still, what a crisp, technically textbook perfect series of moves that he just strung together, talking about all heart Blake Christian right there. Monix making his way to his feet. Here we go. Looking maybe to DBT trap DBT. Charges in the corner. Well done by Monix. Yeah. Out with the clothesline. That clothesline just about turning Blake inside out. Blake taking a breather on the mat for just a moment. But Monix also pausing surprisingly long before trying to make here. the pin. Project Monix did hook the leg, but was unable to keep Christian down. Christian kind of checking his jaw. Did you see that? Making that chopping motion to make sure his jaw was still intact. Sometimes during matches like these, you have to make sure you're okay before you dare continue. And whether or not Christian was okay, Monix was going to proceed regardless. I don't know if you know this, my friend, but choking is not allowed. He has till five, oh, referee. Oh, don't you dare, Jimmy D. Are you drinking his Kool-Aid? What is in that water bottle, sir? Project Monix laying in the stomps. This is where Monix wants to be. Yeah, he's stomping a Chicago pothole in the middle of all heart Blake Christian. Banking on that arm, making, maybe folding over a bicep muscle over that bottom rope before laying another stomp. Good idea to go for a pin. I don't think Monix expected to get the pin there, but still wanted to know where his opponent was. Well, and it's also going to continue to set the pace of the match in the favor of Project Monix. Blake Christian shaking his head no, saying, I'm not going to stop living up to that all heart moniker, fighting the good guys only he can, but a headlock takedown. Yeah, I'm impressed that Monix was just kind of able to snap out of it and grab into that headlock takeover. Well done, showing good resiliency. Blake Christian laying in those slaps, trying to break through, and he was able to get through. Monix lands on his feet on the outside, 3-1-2. Yeah, 3-1-2 street sweeper right there. Pulls Christian out, face first into the apron. Second hardest part of the ring. And once again, this time Christian being thrown right into the guardrail. Is that going to be called a 6-2-4 then? Make it, make it a double. I mean, we are in the 4-1-4 currently here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's Project Monix staying on top of Blake Christian. Yeah, back into the ring he goes. Can't get the win in on the outside. We don't want any double count outs going on here. As solo pros level up at the Turner Hall Ballroom here on Fight TV. Nasty life edge shot by Project Monix. I felt that in my sternum. Project Monix, I think, looking up to mark up the left pectoral muscle. Yeah, absolutely. He probably saw, hey, the right one's already all beat up. Not, not another one. No, because the crowd was enjoying it too much. Yep. Oh. I guess, yeah, crowd, if you don't want to see Project Monix do something, make sure you cheer it. <laughs> He'll do the opposite. Only one. Blake Christian's probably very, very woken up after those chops to the chest. Yeah, quicker than I am with this cup of coffee that the wonderful staff here at Turner Hall Ballroom provided me with. Thank you, friends. And Project Monix now with yeah. Christian. Christian was able to get his hands out from being trapped, but it was too late. But down the turnbuckles he goes, and now he's getting the foot to the throat. Don't say it. Don't say it, Jimmy D. I won't. Don't you dare, friend. Christian's gonna got he's gotta make his way to his feet. That's what he needs to do. And Monix is letting this happen. This is a mistake by Monix here. Drives oh. that elbow in. He slapped him across that wow. chin. Drives that foot in. Christian really able to keep it. He went for this earlier. Once again, unable to that trap DDT. Nicely done. And that is a Blake Christian that we were looking to see today here at Turner Hall Ballroom. Absolutely incredible. Able to get both feet in the face. A series of strikes. Yeah, that was a mistake by Monix apparently to go for go for that right hand slap because he just got mauled. 
Christian now. Showing all heart there in the corner, driving that elbow in. Looking for her one more time. No, back into the opposite buckle. Power slam coming up, maybe. Front, right in front. Springboard. Split leg on the moon salt. And this could not. Two count only. I gotta say, I have been a able to enjoy many a Blake Christian match on the mic, and I am always amazed at the things that he can do in and around the ring. He is just a phenomenal talent, and I am so happy to see him here in a Zello Pro ring. Very happy to see him not only in a Zello Pro ring, but here at the Turner Hall Ballroom and against Project Monix, somebody who I love to see get beat here a level up. Oh, wow. But up top, up top. Blake Christian, so dangerous up here, so many weapons. Thinking 450, saw Patrick Roger Rodgers moving on Nagata Lock 2. Oh, no. Nagata Lock 2. Oh, no. If he, hits, if he can cinch this in, I think we're going to have a submission Christian victory. Says no. Christian yep. says no. He's getting those elbows up. Christian able to avoid the Nagata Lock 2. No doubt. The final phase, no, not so much. Driving that in. Project Monix. Trying to say, oh, a version of the project plunge, just not from the top rope. Looking for the pin here. Oh, he's got no, it all like it. up. But the thing is, he did not have most of his weight onto Blake Christian. He was kind of doing a bit of a yawn. It was yeah. almost like a, a cocky maneuver from Project Monix. He's going to have to reel in his ego if he wants to take down one of the top tier talents of the independent wrestling scene today. I mean, he, we've seen Blake Christian, like I said, on GCW, Impact. He's back with New Japan Wrestling. I mean, what is Pat, what is Project, I'm not going to call him Project, what is Pat Monix thinking? You're one of the best in the world. Well, right now he's thinking he's, he's going to shove the, the foot in the, in the, the, the face but of you all think part Blake Christian, maybe take all the heart right out of him. I mean, Blake Christian has faced Leo Rush, Speedball Mike Bailey, Moscato Dorado. Like, are, are you kidding me with this, Pat? Come on. Oh, big roundhouse inside, roundhouse Ooh. kick by Blake Christian. Favoring that left arm, though, oh, gets that knee yeah. pump. Oh. oh, back with the hurricane, and he caught him flush. Wow. He caught him flush with that. Big on the Superman elbow. Look at this German yeah. suplex got him. Wow. Snapped him with it. Pat Monix a little bit dazed, but Project Monix coming to life. Oh. Able to get that exploder kick into the kip up, and he is all fired up now. Here we go, off the rope, looking for. Standing Spanish fly by all heart, Blake Christian. Oh my stars. But he's unable to capitalize, unable to go for the pin. Oh, Jimmy D, what did I tell you? Intensity is what I'm feeling now. What a brilliant match between these two competitors. So we are getting this here live at the Turner Hall Ballroom in Milwaukee, Wisconsin for Zello Pros level up. Blake Christian trying to put the finale in the final phase for Project Monix. You try to ask what the final phase is. You hear that it's classified. It's a ride that you go on, and only Monix will determine whether or not you get on or off. Oh. But it's Blake Christian catches, gets the inverted chancery. No. Able to roll through it. Look, uh-oh. Oh, wow. Hammerlock oh, wow. into the Dragon Sleeper. Is he going to get this? He's going to make him pass out if he can no. cut off. It, no. It's that two count popped. only. Yeah, the, the, the right arm. The one, the one that's not in the hammer lock, Christian able to get up, but his oxygen being cut off. Oh, he had his shoulders down. No. Back oh, wow. and forth. Can Christian stick him? He can't. He cannot. Oh. The longer Christian, Christian's in this. Slow. Yeah, the longer Christian's in this, that's the less and less either hopefully, and I mean, don't mean to be super gross, but hopefully it's the blood that's being cut off, not the oxygen. Yeah, absolutely. Don't wish either. Oh, final phase coming up. The former Deuces Escalator not got tossed off. Oh. Hard onto the ear. Blake oh, Christian, wow. watch this. Oh, gorgeous. So explosive on the moonsault. Oh, my goodness. Project Monix Ooh. kicks out still. Boy, only a two count there for Blake Christian. Oh. What a stunning debut he has made here in Zello Pro. I don't know which way this is going to go, honestly, Jimmy D. Project Monix making his way to his feet. However, it's Christian who's got his sights set right to the throat. Right in the. Yeah, it was like that. That, that windpipe he almost tricked him. Remember, Kamala used to always do that to his yeah. opponents. Just go right to the DDT. Oh wow! 
And this how, could be, is he thinking maybe the top rope? He used how to is do. he even able to move on the map like Christian? Oh, gasping for air, clutching at anything he can. Christian just rolling around trying to get something going. I think he knows where he's at. He's just unable to move. Monix up on the second rope, faked him out. Oh, wow. Unable to go for the, unable to hit the double foot stomp. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Christian's up. Go off the ropes. Wow. Caught him. Caught him, caught him, caught him. Wow. All of it. Holding down the hands. No. Was not enough. Not enough. Uh, not, if he oh, can wow. get this, they got a lot too. He's got is it. He gonna do it. He's got it cinched in. There, Christian, no, I, dude, he's not wait. gonna submit. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What is this music? Well, I know that music. I did not even think he was here today. Wait, that's Jimmy Jacobs. Is that's he here? Music. Oh my god, is the zombie princess here? Is he? I'm I'm looking around and Monix has broken the hole. Wait, now where is he gonna come from? Monix has zombie, broken the hole. Zombie princess. I hear it the music from the zombie princess and Monix. This is just mind games at this point. Making him wait for it. Yeah, I would not expect Jacobs to come in. And wait we got a, minute, a schoolboy a here. Is this gonna be it right here? No, two count only. Rolls through. He's got both legs hooked. Still oh. only two. To the ear on that double, on that pump kick by Blake Christian. There we go. He's been going for this all match. This wait is the, minute, like the third time. To the eyes, very similar to what we saw with the Drama King going to the eyes to avoid the to avoid the big high impact move. And Monix with the elbow again. Monix watching that corner. What's it going to be? Cross town. Not so much. Christian able to avoid. And holds on. Holds on. Oh Off face first into the top turnbuckle. They're going so back and forth. Yeah, drives that knee in. Almost more like he sat on his head. And he, fourth time's a charm maybe. Went to the throat on this one. Double arm DDTs him through. Was able to spike almost like a butterfly effect. He got him. Wow. Blake Christian with the victory. What a here level up. Zello Pro Blake Christian. You know what? The show is called Level Up, and I do believe that Zello Pro has in fact just leveled up with the debut victory from Blake Christian. Just phenomenal. A question I have to ask though, Val, if the music didn't play, would we have seen a submission victory for Project Monix? He had the Nagatalok 2 cinched in. Listen, my friend. Coulda, woulda, shoulda, okay? The fact of the matter is, we have a victor, and his name is Blake Christian. Welcome to Zello Pro, Blake. Oh, that's a good feeling right there, my friend. Project Monix is going to make his exit to the other side. Is he looking for Jimmy Jacobs? Is maybe, he looking for the zombie it. princess? Maybe that's it.